Mark. Set. It might be called a competition, but at the USOC Paralympic Sports Camp, everyone is a winner. There's no price for the tie. To really show these individuals that life continues to go on, it, it continues to move forward if you want it. The only limitation that you have or that people can place on you are the limitations that you accept from them or that you place on yourself. Circus training, what is circus training? For one week, 59 injured service men and women work with coaches at the Olympic Training Center in Chula Vista. Here they train their bodies and their minds that they can once again do things they never thought possible. I had every excuse in the book not to do it. And he was on me, on me, on me, and told me just to come out and try it. If I don't like it, then I can quit. And I came out and fell in love. Before being injured in Desert Storm, Terry Fuda had a passion for riding her bike on base. This is awesome. I mean, I've never tried this before, but being able to go around and actually be in a bike again or some type of it is probably one of my top ten bucket list things to do again in my life. Go! Come on! For Mark Yearsley, the challenge has been getting used to his artificial leg. Now I'm able to walk again, run again, and uh, do those things that I did as an athlete when I was younger. The one-time track and field star has been wheelchair-bound for six years. I wasn't going to let it hold me down. And you still aren't. And I'm not going to. Proving that these wounded warriors can go from combat action to athlete. Push it all the way through the finish line. At the Olympic Training Center in Chula Vista, Matt Johnson. Cool. I'm a show, baby. I'm a show. Fox 5 News. Go.